This actor is terrible. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 47th episode of the show Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 202nd episode overall titled Rangers of Two Worlds Part 1. We begin this episode at the Youth Center where Kat is sighing to herself because the purse she made looks like crap. Then Adam and Tanya come up and they ask what she's looking at and Kat shows it to them and Tanya explains that not everyone is perfect at everything. Well Kat is, goddammit. Bulk and Skull are also there telling them to shut up because they're trying to study for their detective licenses. They get scared by Stone who tells them to stop talking in the study. Jason then comes up to the others and he tells them that there's an emergency and they need to get to the power chamber as soon as possible. They leave coming with Rocky and Tommy is there and there's some random old guy there. Yeah, it's Billy. He's aged up to this. Billy then explains how when Master Vile reversed time and he used that device to make himself the right age again, something went wrong somehow and now he's aging rapidly. But he has an idea. He hobbles off. Mondo is getting updated about Gasket and Archerina being back on Earth and Gasket and Archerina overhear this and they say that they're going back to their own home planet for now. Then at the youth center, Billy and Kat are going through the lost and found thing and I guess they're just looking for something. Bulk and Skull are also there using the eavesdropper 3000 and Billy hands Kat her purse, which I guess she tried to ditch. <laughs> Also, Billy blows a whistle and it hurts Bulk and Skull's ears. Then we see that Rita and Zed were actually also listening, complaining about how those two shouldn't scream. Then Finster comes out of the RV, giving Rita a new staff that looks exactly the same. He just says that it will only work with the RV is going at a certain speed. Finster, this staff blows. Whatever, they're going to turn Cat into a monster because the Rangers won't be able to kill one of their own. Then they start driving around. At the youth center, Billy is aging right in front of them and the RV is going on the moon. Then, Goldar and Rito argue over a seat and they hit Rita and it makes her fire her staff. She accidentally makes a monster out of Kat's purse. Rita sees this pissed off. In the power chamber, everyone is trying to figure out what to do and Alpha has a skeleton that he rolls by saying, Very old. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alpha. Rocky and Adam say that they have an idea and they're coming in now. Then Cestro and Delphine come in. They have a device that will reverse Billy to the proper age. Cestro tries to use it and it causes sparks to erupt. Then a console sparks too and Alpha says that the explosion destroyed the teleportation unit. Clank is telling the Machine Empire about how Rita and Zed made a purse monster and Mondo says that he'll send out a monster too. Then in the power chamber, the rangers are talking about how they need fresh water for this device. My god, are we always going back to this? Rocky suggests Angel Grove Falls and Billy recommends taking the Zeo jet cycle since they can't teleport. Jason will stay with the alien rangers, who I'm imagining is like, uh, question, who the fuck? It's morphin' time! The rangers ride around and then we see that there's a giant gear monster. He then fires tiny gears onto the Zeo jet cycles, which causes the rangers to lose control over their bikes. They're trying to take back control, but nope. Instead, they all just drive straight into a building crashing. Then a fire starts and they all have to run away from their bikes as they blow up behind them. Mondo is there with Cogs and his new monster is called Cog Changer. Cog Changer puts more gears on the Cogs and he sends them forward. The Rangers try to fight off the Cogs, but it's not working. Meanwhile, Rita and Zed cross stabs and they make their monster, the Impersonator, grow giant. The Rangers then just call out their Zeozords, forming the Zeomegazord. I guess they don't care that much about Mondo and stuff. They punch the monster, but it just tickles it. Adam tries his battle helmet and it doesn't work. Rocky tries his and it's the same thing. Then Tanya uses her battle helmet and nope, doesn't work. Kat then uses her battle helmet and yeah, guess what? It doesn't fucking work. Then they use the Zeo Megazord saber slashing at the monster, but somehow it still does nothing, knocking them down onto the ground. Tommy calls out the red battle sword warping inside. He then starts punching the crap out of this monster. Mondo is back in space and he says that he refuses to let Rita and Zed be the ones to destroy the rangers. He orders Cog Changer to do something and Cog Changer puts an evil gear inside of the Zeo Megazord. Meanwhile, the red battle sword isn't really doing much damage and he just starts firing at it, but it's not working. Then the rangers decide to just form the mega battle sword, which we haven't seen in a long ass time. They fire the monster, but nope, still nothing. Meanwhile, Jason is at Angel Grove Falls and he's collecting some fresh water. He gets beeped from Tommy and they tell him that they really need him in Pyramidus. It's morphin' time! Jason shows up in Pyramidus and they form the Zeo Ultra Zord and they fire at the monster, which is causing it to swell. It seems like the purse monster is just absorbing and firing back their attacks at them. Feels like something they could have established at some point, but okay. Then the rangers just form a new thing called the Zeo Ultra Zord in carrier mode, but this doesn't work either. The rangers retreat to get the water to Billy. Mondo sees this and he just teleports the impersonator away. Mondo then tells the others he teleported it to another planet so they can win against the rangers instead. In the power chamber, the rangers show up and the alien rangers warn that it may be too late. Cestro fires at Billy and it's still not working. Doron then reiterates how without Billy, they're going to need help. 
I mean, Billy has like barely been around lately. I think they'll be fine. They then get a transmission from Aquatar and the other alien rangers are standing by to join them. They then see that something is wrong in the Zeo Megazord and old man Billy goes to check it out. Billy gets in the Megazord and he tries to start to fix whatever is wrong with it, but the Zeo Megazord is just going crazy on its own. Then it just flies out of the room and the heroes look on, scared. To be continued. This episode makes me super sad, but we'll get into the reasons why next time. Just know that I cannot imagine what it was like to be on set filming these episodes. Also, I feel like they could have at least got an actor who gave a damn about trying to deliver lines like David Yost, but whatever. They clearly didn't care that much. I think it's interesting how they're manipulating the Japanese footage to be what they need it to be, i.e. Zed and Rita versus the Machine Empire. That's like super creative and it's nice work by the writers on that front. Other than that, for a two-parter called Rangers of Two Worlds, I was hoping to actually see two sets of Rangers already, but um, guess not. So how will this storyline wrap up next time? Until then, may the power protect you.